Hi guys, and welcome back to my Drag Race Season Cursed live reaction series, and we're here for the live reaction to episode 13. Oh, unlucky 13. Uh huh, I know, right? But before I start, obviously, as usual, currently I am watching the first 10 minutes the day before, so I'm super excited. Obviously, we had the roast last week, a few different things going on here, there, and everywhere with Utica. I did do a separate video on that. If you would like to discuss it, go check that out. Just so that we don't like flood the comments with all that sort of thing unless it's mentioned specifically in this video we'll see what happens and i thought for today i just i don't know I just something just made me feel like i wanted to wear this which is obviously my uk outfit it's the big ben clock vibe for the frock destroyer song big ben and i was just like something inspired me to wear this this week i don't really like if you could stand up for us please <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, well, if Rue's not gonna stand up, then I, I'm, I'm good with it. I'm all good with it. Seriously, like, come on. Okay. Oh, get into it. Yeah, like, oh, just, oh. Right, I think we're ready. Sit back down, get this done. Oh, hang on, itchy foot. No, there we go. Okay. Mmm. So, <laughs> that was like the read, the roast, oh my god. So yeah, it was kind of hilarious, kind of amazing that she did that because I didn't realise, considering we are on season 13 and people are like, oh my god, yeah, like, did you not know? Like, she literally, ru is it's a rumour or it's known. I mean, there's like 200 odd queens who've been on the show and experienced her get up midway, go to the toilet, whatever, and she's wearing like sweats and slippers slip sl slip slops flip like sliders like flip something or other. i didn't know that I t never once have i heard that rumor i don't know how but i mean i tend to stay away from like rumors and spoilers anyway but yeah literally the idea that she, which like she doesn't want to break the illusion and so like she's just like okay hey like i'm here she doesn't sit with her legs up like this oh my god she should could you imagine but um yeah so literally it turns out that's what she does for comfort and i'm thinking that is immense hypocrisy which i don't agree with like at all because seriously like the fact that they get the queens to stand for hours on end in heels in full drag tucked painful everything and these days they give like the makeover people like if it's a like a the fans or the this that and the other they normally get seats to sit on and aside from that no the only new thing is with the roast as well as how like they sit on the sidelines but yeah and then like Ruga just gets to sit in comfort and I'm like, okay, cool, like that. I don't blame her, but like, no, kind of spoils it and ruins the illusion of that now that I know that she, like a lot of the stuff she has apparently is like tearaways or like, not, I don't know, something that she can just slip some, some joggers on. So, hey, thought I would give it a try this way. I thought I'd try and be RuPaul for the week and see what it's like to wear half and half. So with that out of the way, let's just crack on with the first 10 minutes because I want to see. I don't even remember the trailer. Oh, wait, no, it's some weird, like, they miniaturise themselves, like, acting challenge. We're at top five. I'm expecting Olivia to go and that be the top four, but we shall see. I don't know. So, yeah, it did kind of make it, like, a more of a gag joke on the roast, which is why it was so hilarious for everyone. And she was just like, Haha, no. <laughs> um, I wonder if... because. People seem to know about it, but then apparently, I don't know if the fans and the viewers know, so, like, a lot of the queens talk about it, apparently, or know about it, but I wonder if it's in some sort of contract where they're not allowed to say? I'm not sure. I don't know. Someone, I read a comment where they were saying, what about Eureka when she was, she stepped away from the thing and she was like, I need a minute, da da da, da. Apparently, she, like, put it all back together, went off, came back. So, I don't know. It's, it's very interesting. Uh, oh, that is long-ass message. Shut up, Candy. Like, I like you, Candy. But not this long ass match. Not this long ass season. Oh, okay. Wiggle to the top. Utica. Wiggle to the top. <laughs> Wiggle to the top. Of course, it has to be me against Utica. Because, you know, she's my twin. You ate your twin. I ate my twin, bitch. Wait, how's she her twin? Oh, because they so did the makeover challenge. Right. I, I need like... to get out of my head. Something is holding me back, and I need to figure out what it is because it literally landed me in the bottom this week. And yeah. I am determined to get to the top and. If I don't change something in my head, I'm not gonna make it. Candy, I wanna congratulate you on your win. Oh you finally get a rupee up. Oh wait, wrong series. <laughs> How happy. Listen, the rose is such a like a drag race staple. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my god, work! 
And the gag is, I don't even think Aja and Dahlia won a challenge on their season either. I don't think so either. So, I'm over... Of course Dahlia didn't fucking win a challenge. She went home the first week. Well, she went home week three, but she was first to go. <laughs> No shade, but hey. I'm so happy right now. This is like the best day of my life. Gottmik did amazing as well. She's probably cemented her place in the top four. Down the road in a, in a, in a few years, if there's like a little roast tour, I want to sit next to you, bitch. Oh, no. I would go to that. Let's invite you to care. You have it, honey. You got it. Oh, you got Mick. Yeah. Oh, got Mick. You got it. <laughs> Such a funny Rose. Like, the whole thing was funny because some of it was, like, train wrecky funny, which, like, hey. But Rosie was incredible. I still feel like Rosie and Simone are the top two for me. I want I want Simone to win. I want Simone to win. And people are like, she's been in the bottom twice now. And I'm like, that's not a thing. That's not a thing where, like, oh, she's never gonna win. Imagine if Sasha Velour had been in the bottom three times. Like, the lip sank three times and still stayed and did the Roses and still won. There's a first time for everything. Yeah. Because I know you bitches are fucking fierce, and no one wants to give up their spot in that finale. Absolutely no. not. My top five angels, let's get it! I still didn't even know, like, what the, the final's gonna be. It's gonna be a Zoom remote thing. Did they crown them here since they're already all here? Are they gonna try and do it on a stage with, like, a socially distanced audience? I don't know. If you didn't believe in me before, oh baby, stop believing in me now. It's not that I didn't believe in you, it's that we already knew the producers wanted you in the final, so. It is top five though, it's exciting. We're literally so close to the end. This is episode 13, it's normally the reunion. We've got top five down to top four, top four staying at top four probably, reunion finale. Four episodes left, come on, let's do this shit. Oh my god, look, we, we, we won. Oh my we god. Won. It's so crazy to think of all the shit we've done and all the bitches we've lost. This table used to be all the way around. Oh, y'all like my best friend. Oh, Wait. Baby. You see the confessionals, my love. Oh, yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> Don't be thirsty, though. Hey, you got you, you moved on from Joey J? Well, I haven't. My queens, hey. yeah. they say there are no small parts, only small actors. Queen. Top five though, well done. <laughs> I like this suit and I like the colour. I don't like the moustache. <gasps> Throwback to the reunions, the old reunions, and also the Untucked, where she would introduce it and be like, this week's Untucked. And... <gasps> no. Also, she didn't grow that in a few days. That is stuck on. Where you'll be portraying tiny, teeny, tiny drag queen. Fine. Fighting for your very survival. Pooches for prolapse for teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny tots. <laughs> this week will determine who makes it to the top four of RuPaul's Drag Race. For that song, I wonder what the song's gonna be. <sighs> Last year, Losing is the New Winning, I thought it was kind of a lot, the three songs, but I actually like it now, and I'm like, ah, I'm so excited about that. Who's not gonna be there? Who's not gonna be there? I don't know. We're looking over the scripts. Oh, it's a thick script, honey. Oh, girl. I think ginger ale could be cute and funny. The judges have been telling Olivia that every time she gets up there, she gives this apologetic, shy girl thing. Mm -hmm. And that's what this ginger ale role is. Oh, so really? If I were her, I would not be trying to do that. Uh, she has the kind of, I'm not saying the worst track record, but the least likelihood of being in the top four. So I feel like she needs to do something that would be a risk to push to the top. I definitely want Dominique as well. No. Okay. Candy and Simone, one of you will play Dominique and one of you will play Margarita. Well, I want Dom, so. Mm. I really want to play Dominique Perignon because she's okay. a central <laughs> part of the story. Everything's happening because of her. And I really want to stand out. Like, I feel like it's a side of me that I haven't really shown the judges. It's just a fun character to play and I really, really want it. Yeah, I want Dominique as well. Well, luckily, Elliot's here to hold an audition for you. <laughs> <laughs> the character of what are we gonna do? Well They're both gonna be Margarita. personality. Margarita is the sexy, logical, smart one, a natural born leader. I'm like, word, that's very Simone. That could work Dominique for Simone as well. Is the villain, crazy, delusional. That's me. Dominique is mine. I want Dominique. 
So what should we do for an acting momento? Like, oh my god, what honest? are we gonna do? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Uh, it just of course it ended on there because it wasn't a mini challenge it was just like boom 10 minutes done I want to know how we're gonna decide I think Candy should probably get it like after her description of the two Simone would hopefully kill either anyway I I'm worried that's I don't want Simone to like struggle this week I want like why don't why do they lip sync about oh wait they already lip synced together and both stayed so hey right we're gonna do that whole time travel thing where it's tomorrow and I'm back here watching it so see you in a min and just like that we're back oh my god okay so um first of all you know some days you just wake up and it's like oh, you have a good hair day literal like with your hair like oh like today is the day like considering I filmed four things yesterday it could have been amazing yesterday but no here we are today <clears throat> oh crook feeling some good hair vibes today which I'm happy with and also I uploaded my Don't Get It Twisted video talking about Utica and the whole issue and I really appreciate all the positive feedback on that. So I really appreciate the positive comments um, and everything on that which is fabulous because like at least I get to instant reply to you guys through this because I literally filmed it yesterday and uploaded it and then here we are today watching this episode and we're back to it. I think I didn't have anything else to say. Look, get back up in the, in the gag. Don't worry. <clears throat> I don't really need to get up for years, but yeah, we're still in the in the everythingness of it all. So hey, I'm excited. Let's go. Let's do this. We're at the very end stretch of this competition. Oh my god, baby, it's you or me, and I did not come here to give up my part so that you could win. Girl, you scare us. It's like you'll do anything to win. <laughs> anything. <laughs> <laughs> she was just anything. saying that, but okay. <laughs> Thing is that I don't actually see Candy winning like at all. Does anyone see Candy winning? Like, can you imagine the gag? It would be pretty incredible, but I would not be happy if nah, like you know, you'd still be happy for them, but like, no, Simone is my winner, and if not Rose, like you know what I mean? <laughs> and then if not got Mick. <laughs> and then Candy. Hey, well Rose, yours is butch, so definitely be your It's gonna be a stretch. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll try it. <laughs> Could you hear it? I heard it? Oh, the no Oh, guys, can you? It literally a day later, you know what I mean? Like, oh, 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 a bit of the. Oh, but, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Wait, let me actually get closer and see if we can actually. Baby, we're at the end of this competition, so we barely have any drag left. The options are few, and I also have to make sure they fit with the character. Yeah. I can't come out in like a huge ball gown trying to be a oh. butch queen. Oh, <laughs> you can uh, milk. <laughs> but no, you literally, it's, I've never really thought about that. They are towards the end of the season, and you've only brought what you brought, and if you run out of stuff, that's why people lend, other people th don't lend yourself a, that t-shirt all starts to and, and ten thousand dollars but you know what i mean like that's when people lend like wigs and stuff it's quite interesting actually to see the limited resources you've got similarly for Gigi last year i think she'd had that fitted red thing for the final episode um losing as the new win and, and it was a bit like people were like oh it's a bit loose to do. she'd lost a lot of weight being a drag race because it's fucking drag race so my interesting house, it's, the house it's, of avalon we're such perfectionists speaking of gg the do, house of avalon and i don't want to let anyone down and i don't want to look bad and then like disappoint everyone and i don't want to have to be like you have four wins but you also lip sync three times and me like scrambling to get into the top like i just don't want to look a fool i just don't i can't mm -mm. i'm ready for some scarlett johansson black widow she's one of my favorites i can't wait for the black widow film yeah, like how's it going? No spoiler, I'm not giving you spoilers for what happens in the Infinity War Endgame saga of it all, but she's, she's always been one of my absolute favourites. I freaking love her. I'm living! <laughs> not Olivia being like, I'm living. It's been a dream of mine to participate for a long, long time, so this is really exciting for me. Oh. Baby, you're in the workroom right you're now. You're in the workroom right now. <laughs> it feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be on green screen in this room and we're gonna be shrunk really small. <laughs> um, we're gonna fight things like giant cats. 
How would you oh God, recommend okay. being against well, these like imaginary monsters? I ain't got nothing big. Well, oh, I got the big ring light versus the regular size ring light. Oh my God. The most important thing is that you have a lot of conviction, whether you're fighting Thanos or like a giant spiky heel, you know what I mean? And so that comes from believing in yourself. If you don't believe in your own self, then no one in the audience is gonna believe you. Cool. Right. You're a very sweet person, I can tell, but have you ever had to play a villain in the movie? How did you get into character? I think the most important thing when you're playing a villain is you have to love the character that you're playing, even if they're like evil to the core. You really have to have a lot of sympathy for them. You know, you, you have to really know have to that feel for the character. Yeah, know that story and know why they are the villain. Like literally, yeah. I like that. Smaller than the others. So I was just wondering if you had any advice on how to really stand out when you don't have a lot of lines. Remember that there are no small parts. They're only small queens, so. Yes, but this week there really are really small queens. Any other questions? I have one guest question. Oh. Who the are you? movie, will it be called Size Queens? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should know who that is. I assume that's her husband. I don't know who he is. The future of cinema rests on your very tiny, tiny, tiny shoulders. <laughs> but yeah, literally with green screen, I think you've got to get into it knowing you know what the final product is going to be. You know, you've got to Davina to Campo the, the thing. I'd be like, right, I know what I'm doing. It may look like a hot mess putting it together, but you have to picture you're in the scenario. Like, you really are small and you're like, that is a giant raspberry. We are Pikmin. You know what I mean? Like literally like. <laughs> We've got to get, a, oh, oh, sorry. We've got to go all the way across the workroom and find the right, shade go, 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 go. button. You're strong. You need to be like, you know what to do. No, hey, we got to go all the way. We're going to do that. Mm. All the way across this workroom, you're leading them to victory. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. it's really weird. It's kind of hard. like act off of something that's not there and while also being in character True. while also like trying to overact in the scene with these four other bitches we've got to go all the way across the work room and activate the shade button simone is bringing back her voice that she uses in acting challenges the factory i call it the factory <laughs> voice <laughs> the factory candy has another nice gown okay oh but i'd like oh oh imagine on that on the runway the panties out no <laughs> Oh no! I can't stop looking. My wicked beauty! No, let's go back. Let's go back. No, do it again. Do it again. No. Can we not with the gown? I go. <laughs> my wicked beauty! No. No, no my beautiful no. wickedness. Do it again. <laughs> oh my god! She looked. I didn't even realize she was getting the lines wrong. They're just torturing her. No, my work, beautiful work and beauty. Candy is a big personality, so whatever character she gets, that is an asset. I like it. Oh my god, novelty, it's too big. Like, I need to design this. I sorry, but stealing, stolen, stalt. I need to find myself some big novelty things. Do a green screen thing or something. Olivia is stuck in what she knows. And as a performer and a drag queen, you need to kind of show the judges like all sides of you. No one's smiling and happy 24 seven, so. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna um, like say my line and then look back. Does my camera change now she's back there? I don't think Olivia realizes that she's the Urkel of this group sometimes. Um, may I ask? Um, I have a question. You tell me to look <laughs> over here, but I think my character would really shout this way. May I ask a question? How's the look over may there? May I ask a question? Oh my god, she's really gonna make merch. May I? Actually, does she not already have merch? May I ask a question? <laughs> this is exactly what she gonna do, and she knows exactly how it's gonna look. So just do it, Diva. Question. Woo. Oh, she's really a diva. all the diva. questions. May oh I god. ask? <laughs> My opinion on Rose has changed so much because, like, when she first got here, she was so uptight in a way, and she was just everything had to be perfect and every word. And then, as the competition started going on, I could just see her letting go. 
I think that's like me on YouTube. I was like, I've got to be like perfect. My hair did it. And then, and then fucking quarantine happened. And then here we are, season 30. I'm just like, I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, you see me every week. Like, what, what, what's the difference? <laughs> Maybe you won't notice us. <laughs> hey, Katie girl. Got Nick, when you just sneeze a little bit she more. She just sneezed. Think you're gonna, then you stop. <laughs> I think you know it, like, when it really happens to me because my hands, I'm like, no, 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 I'm, I'm trying to, like, summon the sneeze out, like, let's do it, let's do it, let's it. Yep. Maybe you're on your back and it's tickling your belly. <laughs> 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 you should really try and run away and I just want to see Candy like run <laughs> kicking the pot. I caught with Candy in that, that gown, the panties, that is not the tea. <sighs> Could you imagine? Oh, get into these collar buttons. I think that's been my issue these last few weeks is that I... I'm so worried about what everyone else at back home is going to think and being so close to Gigi and coming in the season after her and having that pressure yeah, on me to but... do so well, I feel like it's exhausting. <sighs> you can only do what you and can do. Like You've seen it time week and time again. so horribly in the roast and having to lip sync and being so close to the end of this competition. It's a, it's a shitty feeling. And um, I don't want to disappoint anybody. No, and she's done, she's done for it. Like she may have lip sync twice, but she's won three, she's been hilarious. She's done some incredible trailblazing references and everything like for the Black Lives Matter movement and her amazing runways, like hello. <laughs> Just I don't want that to be my end here. No, I mean, you did. Yeah, she kind of bombed the roast, but that was it, like. <laughs> It's easy to come here and think about the disappointments that you're gonna have back at home if you go home first, or if you don't make it halfway through, or if you don't make it to the finale. But remember that who got you here is yourself, and at the end of the day, the people back at home gonna be proud. And it's of you. not like you're not like judged based on who you are quality-wise, on your position in a competition. Like literally, Khan Montrese went third, second after Soju, and obviously had a high thing expectation with Coco Montrese. Similar to the House of Aja, I mean, Dahlia went first. Like, it really just, I mean, Jada Essence Hall and then Carmora Hall, she went first. Like, you know what I mean? It really doesn't, like, you don't need to put that pressure. And if you were to, you've got to top five, Simone. You're literally that, like, incredible. And if you went right now, you've, you've still done what you did. I want to win. She better not fucking go right now. But you know what I mean? I really didn't see anyone like me ever on TV. And even when I did see like the Chaz Bonos and like the trans guys on TV, I was just like, well, that is too masculine. That is not me. Uh -huh. I'm too feminine. You know, it really like set me back in a way. Yeah, but if you're a fem feminine guy, then yeah, like, gee, hi. <laughs> Cause like, there's no way I'm the only one that feels this way, <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. I don't really get why we hold the trans community to this expectation that you're either supposed to be Barbie or Ken, like no in between. That's, yeah, you're literally just you. You're literally, you're, you're, you're got me. You're a man. You're literally a feminine man. Like, that's just it. Like, just, you just gotta be you, so. But I totally appreciate the struggle and the expectation of, well, hey, this is the box that you go into. The only thing we had on TV was drag queens and trans mm -hmm. women being hookers on TV and being yeah. killed. Or gay men being the, the overly flamboyant, the, ooh, right. I, I need a gay best friend to go shopping. And it's like, there is so much more to gay life than just the shit you see on TV. Yeah. I, th that's the, the, pro the thing. Like, they expect, oh, like, oh, hey, oh, I oh, like oh, my oh, some fash ones. But I don't need that expectation of, well, I need a gay best friend to go out shopping. Yeah, no, no, let's do that. And that ain't my job. I ain't no fashion assistant, like, you know.
Welcome to the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. From the Itty Bitty Titty Committee, it's <laughs> Michelle Bassad. Well, thank you, Ru. I'm not only a member, but I'm also the president. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hi, Ru. Hi, Ru. Nice look. Hey, just waiting for you to do the little tarot. Put, gonna put the joggers on, gonna put the slips on. Mm -hmm. I'm there with you. <laughs> I'm excited for a runway. We haven't had a runway in feels like forever. We didn't have last week. There was no UK. <laughs> I'm on a runway right now, please. Oh, wow. Literal pocket. I actually haven't got any pockets. Oh, I do, because I wore joggers with the dress. I do have pockets. <laughs> I like it. That No, that's actually incredible. I love like the baggy vibe, the big zip, the, the hair. Remember, like, the first week, the first episode, the, the runway, the, the, I was like, I don't know if I get this look, it's very Simone, and it works. Say, hey, a dress, a gown with pockets. <laughs> Rue knows all about that. I'm not gonna let this go. It's cute. That's a nice Olivia look. <laughs> nice colour as well. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, a very mod look. Black and white. She just, you know what it is, Rosie? Oh. That's cute. It's like, hey, it's like Simone's um, Polaroid dress. <laughs> Similar style. Um, yeah. I like the white, the, the, the stockings, the hair, everything. But I just think she just does this silhouette where she just provides no silhouette a lot of the time. And I'm like, I like things form-fitted. Like, wow. Kawaii. There's a lot of perfect. Oh my god, yeah, you know what it's it's like at first school the nursery with a little like this is your section, this is your section. Put your little in the thing. <laughs> it's kind of choppy and a bit messy. But so's the hair. Oh my god. Sarah Jurassic Parker. Oh wow. Oh, it's like the dodgy watch salesman with a big coat. Okay. <laughs> The bodysuit though, yeah. My clock's downstairs, I should have brought it for this video, but oh well, I didn't. Literally, take away the coat, and I actually really like that, with the hair as well, gold and black. Just this week, you stole my dress and hot glued it to a tummy. Girl, that was not me. That was my inner saboteur. <laughs> 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 That's gonna be my excuse going forward if anything happens. It wasn't me, it was my inner saboteur. Aren't you just dying to find out? Yeah, are you gonna flip the switch or what? <laughs> okay, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for that to be miniaturized. Is it just me? Or did the toxic overhead lighting make the furniture huge? Ginger ale. The furniture didn't get bigger, you idiot. We shrunk! <laughs> but the shade button is so far away, we'll never make it. It's all the way over here, guys. You gotta make it all the way to my house. <laughs> yeah, shame Candy didn't get it miniaturized. Then you would have actually been able to have a chance at being heard. Even without a megaphone. It sounds like a wild elephant. <gasps> hello, hello, hello. Ah, oh, it's Michelle. Is anyone here? This is what Michelle does on her days off, just sneaks into the workroom when there's no one around. She's like, I, I want to be in the competition. <laughs> I'm away. <laughs> of RuPaul. Does anyone ever clean up around here? I don't know, that's been set there since 2018. Mm. Look over there! <laughs> Look over there! If we stay perfectly still, maybe the cat won't notice us. That's so pretty. I'm allergic to cats! Get away from me, you fucking pussy! <laughs> I think this is like the comedic element of it, otherwise it's just like... I used to have one of those things. We're never going to make it across the room and up to the shade button. I've got it. Still got Sewing it. Sewing machine. But I don't know how to sew. Wait. 
You came to Drag Race and you don't know how to sew. What season is this? <laughs> I love it. Oh, so we we're going upwards. Okay, I like that. <laughs> we'll never make it. It's physically impossible. Damn you, science. <laughs> but wait, Damn you always science. says that drag gives us superpowers. <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty sure that's a figure of speech. She's a super queen. You go for it, Olivia. <laughs> She's coming. Okay, as preposterous as it may seem, maybe together we can take one giant step for drag can. <laughs> Uh, I'll do whatever you say. Just don't say. I don't think you're gonna make on the breasts this is. <laughs> but oh, I don't think we're gonna. It's like trampoline. You landed on India Ferris old breastplate, <laughs> which was my plan all along. Dominique, first off, legendary. You think you are? You ain't Looks nothing. Look like leg but and a dairy. <laughs> dumps the. <laughs> furthermore <laughs> Oh wait, we got a furthermore in a reading chat. Okay, I heard cum dumpster. <laughs> it's working. We're big again. Oh wow. Look at Dominique. <laughs> She's shrinking. <laughs> My beautiful wicked <laughs> And this Dominique. Just so you will know, and your drag daughters will someday know, <laughs> is the night the lights went off in the workroom. <laughs> Actually, that was season th 11, when the, the electric, the power just casually went out. <laughs> or was it 12? It was both. 11 untucked, when that um, politician lady was there, and season 12, Last year. That was interesting, but I didn't love it. I couldn't really tell who did good or bad on that. It was kind of just a bit like, Meh. So when we were in there directing, I was a little concerned that I was losing you. I was like, I need Simone to do something to pop. And then when I saw it back, it not only popped, it was very funny. I'm so relieved. <laughs> this is amazing. It's like, you're like a little doll in someone's back That pocket. is the cutest look that out of all the runway. The, the, the pocket, in the pocket. It's not a troll doll, but it's almost like giving me like, someone's got a troll doll in their pocket. <laughs> it's like, hey. <laughs> Is we've seen it a lot now mm -hmm. so it would have been really fun to see you play somebody dark and somebody evil because i would have loved to have seen the other people that live inside your head not them saying somebody dark and then pointing to got make without black hair and makeup like <laughs> your physical comedy was great Move it! none of them really gave me anything amazing i was getting meh from livia and potentially candy i don't know she was shouting and stuff, but like, I just didn't really get anything from anything for this challenge. You make me laugh. I think you could have gone a little further with it. I feel like looking at it now, Simone would have killed that character. I thought you were super sexy. I felt like it was all very sedate, like settled. Um, and I think you can bring us more. Settled? It kept moving and we saw our panties every fucking time? I don't think so. I'm wondering like what it is and what the look is and that's a problem. Yeah. It um, doesn't work. It's not fitting appropriately. The hem is off. Some parts are more together than others. It's sloppy to me, Candy. And I feel like you're better than that, especially at this far along in the competition. Yeah. You're elevated. But she has now. been sloppy this a lot with the isn't looks. isn't quite elevated enough for the final five. If you think about it, we're in episode 13. We've had at least 13 looks. Different runways, different... A lot of love. That's when I put it on, I don't feel beautiful in it. But you know, when you put something on, you feel great in it. I didn't feel that today, so, you know, I'm just disappointed because... It's not We're so good. close to the end, and this is something that I've wanted for so long. Oh, I've gone cold. Ooh. But the fight's not over, and maybe next time I'll play a dumb bitch. Could have been worse. Could have been broccoli. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Queens, I have to ask. Oh, oh do man. you? <laughs> Who should go home tonight and why? I think it's clear who the top three are and Starting Olivia and Candy in the bottom Simone. two. I would say Olivia. I love you dearly. 
Um, but I'm gonna say Olivia. She is a fierce queen, and I've said that for day one. But I feel like she has a little bit more growing to do. Olivia, who should go home tonight and why? When asked who I believe should go home tonight. Don't say yourself. I'm conflicted because I cannot say myself and I cannot say any of them. Okay. Then it's Dela. Catch you say Candy. She got the, the second worst critiques. So who should go home? You can go home, Miss Congeniality says. She's fucking say a name. Olivia is just standing there, silent. I kind of got to feel bad for her. Looking at her, also silent. She gonna and be I'm pissed. Full, like, did I miss something? She's gonna come up from the back of that runway or the the state the panel and fucking bitch slap you in a joggers if you don't Based say off of say a name. Everything. I will have to vote Candy. I think she was scared of the clap back from Candy. Actually, I would have said fucking Candy. I would have said Olivia and Candy. Olivia has a bit more to learn and find out about herself before really stepping into the stilettos of America's Next Drag Superstar. Candy. I love my sister Olivia, but I think that when it comes to growth, she still has just a little more to learn about herself and her drag. All right, got Mick. Um, I have to say Olivia as well. For a few of us, the person that walked in the entrance room a few weeks ago is not even the same person that's standing on the stage right now. And Olivia is still trying to grow as fast as a few of us have been able to. Thank you, Queens, for your honesty. It obviously sucks you to hear. You know, we but... have to ask. It was actually in the sketch. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I was just going to say, you don't actually have to. It's just shady, but you do it every season, so... <laughs> yeah, there was in the skit, though, so... I think Olivia was... Oh. <laughs> Shady bitches, they just left you. <laughs> they got all the way to the end of the runway and then she... For real, I I'm excited for Untucked. I feel like Olivia was trying to be like the Dela, like I don't wanna say like a name, Miss Congenia, it'd be nice to da, da, da. Or she was genuinely fucking scared of the clapback from Candy if she said Candy, but it was right to say Candy. It really was, like, I wouldn't mind if Candy went, but I think Olivia should go. Lip sync wise, Candy's gonna fucking eat her alive. They both lip sync twice, I think. Speaking of the challenge though, I do feel like, once again, mm, it was okay, but I never really fan of these like almost like semi-final, before the final four challenge acting challenges. It reminds me of the best Squirrel Friends All Stars 3 thing. Sex in the Skitty, Skitty Girl? Kitty Girl? It's All Stars 4. We had Beast Enders for UK. That was actually good. And then there was this, and there's different ones, and I just never. I like the concept green screen, miniaturized in the workroom. I don't really get anything from many of them. I would have liked if Simone had been Candy's character and then it would have been like, wow, she is the villain, the super villain, doing the evil laugh. It would have been pretty cool. But we got another meh semi-final acting challenge, if you ask me. So I've not been listening to these deliberation critiques, whatever you call them. And so I have no idea who's going to win between Simone, Rosé and Got Mick. I don't think Simone's got it. Rosé and Got Mick. Got Mick's been funny and comedic timing, so she could win. It's a good look, too. She's bottled up. She's bottled up, Rosé is. Get a corkscrew. <laughs> I'm more of a screw top guy, but. Tonight on the runway, that outfit wasn't going to work. Curious to see what Candy has for her final runway look, though, if she stays. Because. A lot of her looks just hasn't been it. Tonight on the runway, what a great way and creative and inventive way to do pockets. Season 13, we've seen mostly everything. Mm -hmm. We've never seen that. I want like a new runway where it's like, be a car. Sorry, there's a car over there on the field. So I want to say be a car. Like, I don't know, like just something. I mean, we even had the taxi drivers this season with the the yellow look. So I'm trying, can you, can anyone just give me some inspiration of, of 
categories, category is for runways going forward. I want some, like, um, cosplay vibe. Pokemon, Nintendo, Zelda, Mario. Like, I want, I want cosplay. But aside from that, I couldn't think. Doctor Who. Oh my god. And your oat pocket presentations. Oat Couture. Made some decisions. Who's 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 who's, 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 who's gonna win? <laughs> You're safe. Oh, Thank she's you. okay. Rose is gonna to win. Rose is stage. gonna win. Thank you guys so much. Rose, this week you played it small, but the results were supersized. Congratulations, you're the winner of this week's challenge. She's a super queen. Da, 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 da. Thank you so much. You've won a cash tip of five thousand dollars. This is insane. What a fucking full circle. I am like completely redeeming myself and I could win this fucking whole thing. Contender for the top two, definitely now. Her and Simone. Simone. Simone, Simone, yay. You are safe. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm excited for this lip sync. I can't remember Olivia's style too much, but she did win on the first episode in her team of lip sync. All the odds are against me, but I have to not think about that right now. I want this spot in the top four. Two queens, stand before me. I'm excited. I don't, I'm, I'm good either way. I'm good either way, but I kind of do want Candy there more so. If it's based on these looks, she doesn't stand a chance. Oh, she's just tearing it apart. For you to lip sync, sync for your life. <laughs> Let's do it. After the critiques, the room was spinning, my stomach was in knots, my body was numb. But now that I'm on this stage, I feel none of that. Oh, I am Candy. ready to show the world. She better fucking turn, tear it out. Tear the stage. Has ever said to me, if you ever got on Drag Race, you're gonna go home first. Baby, I'm ready to prove them wrong. I want Candy to do it, like I really do. Don't. <laughs> Fuck it up. <gasps> oh, you can't. Share? I love this song. Oh my god. It's so disco -y. I love it. Was she worth it? To live without. Oh, yes. I'm strong enough. What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> I need to rewatch that, but seriously, that that full thing will be on Instagram later because <laughs> I can't include the music. Ow. Who's got me? Candy Muse. Uh, hey, she, you stay. Yeah. Thank you so much. You may join the other girls. Oh, well done, though. Seriously, I'm sore, though. I swear. Oh God. My dear Olivia, you should be very proud of yourself. I know I am. Now, it's time. Sashay away. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You have literally changed my entire life. All of you. I can't thank you enough. It's right, but you, you, they did good. <laughs> no, wait, she's walking away. Don't be like, oh, Olivia, Shantae, you. Th no, none of that shit. <laughs> A friendly reminder to live life to the fullest. 
Thank you. Live, laugh, and love. <sighs> I'm really sore now. <laughs> Although I didn't make it, I learned that I am a force to be reckoned with. I learned that I am a delicious diva, and I feel like allowing myself to be the fierce diva here opened up so many doors for me. This delicious diva has some more learning to do, and she'll be back. <laughs> I hope y'all are ready to live. <laughs> we already be, we been living. She did get, she won two fucking challenges, I think. She'll be back for an All-Stars. Fifth place contender for All-Stars. My top four <sighs> queen. <laughs> did everyone see this? It's the top four coming. I would have put Denali there. You gotta love yourself. How in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen up in here? Amen. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Squirtle. One of my amiibo, did it? No, it's fine. One of my amiibo fell off the, off the shelf. Right, I'm just gonna quickly watch this lip sync again. Not react to it, but I'm just gonna watch the bits and then I'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's definitely not the right look for this performance for Candy, but hey, she still won. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't see that! <laughs> See, this is why I don't get up and dance normally. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, this is so... Oh, my God. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that was good. Sorry. Basically, obviously, I didn't really see much of it, but I, I, yeah. Candy was given the whole, like, <laughs> you gotta go, and all that normally works, comedic vibes. Um, I really loved what Olivia was doing, movements, like she was doing the choo -choo -choo, and then like, she did, like, a little, little cha-cha vibe, like, I'm, uh, she was absolutely performing, but I think at this point, it's based on the whole thing, and the pa uh, package track record, everything, and they just want Candy in the final. But also, I didn't see the glow. <laughs> like, I love bits like that. Oh my god. So yeah, no, it was great. And I definitely needed to rewatch it because I missed 80% of it. Before y'all clock me, because that happens. And I'm like, sorry. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. It is episode 14, the practical semi-final top four vibe song, Lucky. Was it Lucky? That's Britney Spears, Lucky. Um... But yeah, I'm super excited for that. Next week we have a we have a top four. Is this the top four you guys predicted? I do feel like Denali could have been there, but hey. And like I said, I wasn't like too big on the acting challenge. It's okay. It was a cute concept. I'm going to steal that concept. So we'll see. And I just hope everybody has a fabulous Easter as well. Obviously, we're off. I'm feeling nice and relaxed. It's great. It's amazing. I'm doing lots of videos. All the vibes. Stay tuned. I will be on Twitch tomorrow. Shawnee underscore 92. I'm super excited if you want to come along. And with that, thank you all for watching. I will see you next week. I'll also be uploading something on Monday. I'll also be uploading something on Friday before next week. So hey, stay tuned for all that. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. And I'm now going to RuPaul myself out of here. With oh, so, Right, so let me just get this straight. When she's done, at the end of the deliberations and stuff, she, she, what? she just gets up and goes like, right, bye, guys. I'm going to just go. You know what I mean? Like, okay. My advice to you is, is that, girl, you're a drag queen, and if you can't roll with the punches, this is not the career for you. Trinity swears she's so fishy, bitch. All she's serving is Fisher Price. Oh! oh. Bitch, you look like fish, a whale. Oh! <laughs> a whale. Honey, I'm James and the Giant Peach, and not afraid of it, okay? Bitch, you ate James and the Giant Peach. <laughs> oh my god, I literally- I thought I was the big girl till your nose walked in, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try it, bitch. I think what it would have been hilarious is literally that, like, when Utica was saying it to Lonnie Love and Michelle, and Michelle just, like, clapped back and me, like, listen, you're this, isn't it? Then it would have been, it's more that sort of sorority sisterhood of, like, back and forth, which, so don't get me wrong, I do get it the situation. It was a mockery of big people, which I do not appreciate all the time.